The following is a video demonstration for EdgeBio's Performa DTR products. Our Performa line is used to clean up reaction samples before they are sent off for sequencing. Performa DTR plates come in a variety of kit sizes. For this tutorial, we will be featuring our two plate kit. Within the kit, you will find plate lids, capillary plates, which serves as a receiver for the purified sample during the second spin, flat bottom waste plates, which are used to catch water eluit during the first spin, Performa DTR plates, each individually wrapped within a foil pouch and labeled with a lot number, expiration date, and storage conditions. And finally, a protocol, which contains detailed instructions about the product along with how to carry out RCF to RPM conversions. Performa DTR cartridge kits come in two sizes, a 36-pack and a 108-pack. Within the kit, you will find micro centrifuge tubes, Performa DTR cartridges, packaged and labeled in the same manner as our plates, and a protocol, which, like before, contains detailed instructions about the product along with how to carry out RCF to RPM conversions. The protocol for Performa DTR plates involves a few simple steps with a total processing time of 7 to 10 minutes. The first step merely involves pulling the plate out of the foil pouch and removing the top and bottom plate sealers. The plate is then placed on top of the flat bottom waste plate and sent off for centrifugation at 850 G's for 3 minutes. As you can see, after the first spin, the columns are slightly less hydrated but still maintain an even distribution. The Performa DTR plate is transferred from the waste plate to the capillary plate. Please note that the waste plate can be used multiple times. At this point, there are several methods for loading your sample onto the gel. This can be done manually with a multi or single channel pipette or robotically with a programmed biomech machine. Samples are loaded directly onto the center of the column. Once you are finished loading your samples, the Performa and Capillary plates are once again sent off for centrifugation at 850 G's, but this time for 5 minutes. After the second spin, the Performa plate can be discarded. You have now attained a purified sample that is ready to be sequenced. As you can see, Performa provides an even eluit recovery. The procedure for our Performa DTR cartridges is very similar to that of the plates. The total processing time for this protocol is also 7 to 10 minutes. The first step requires removal of the desired amount of cartridges from the foil pouch. The cartridges are then moved to a centrifuge and spun at 850 G's for 3 minutes. After the first spin, the cartridges are removed from the centrifuge. The baskets are transferred to a new micro centrifuge tube since the originals now contain water eluit. Next, load your sample onto the gel, taking care to ensure that you place the sample on the center of the column. The cartridges are then moved to a centrifuge and once again spun at 850 G's for another 3 minutes.
After the second spin, you have obtained a purified sample that is ready for sequencing. No further cleanup methods are necessary. Next, remove and discard the cartridge baskets from each individual cartridge. One of the benefits of using cartridges is that no columns are wasted since the amount of cartridges used is tailored to fit each experiment. For those of you that have multiple samples, the ability to individually label each cartridge helps to avoid any risk of confusion or mix-ups. The final step after basket removal would be to transfer the alloyates from the microcentrifuge tubes over to a capillary plate of your choice. Once all of your samples are transferred, the plate can now be sent off for sequencing. Interested in our products? Visit us online at edgebio.com to request your free samples.